So in a recent video, I actually washed this car. When I cleaned the wheels, I did point out that they don't look the best. Three of them are okay. One of them is really bad. They're absolutely caked on with brake dust and all kinds of stuff. I don't think they were ever washed on the car that they were on previously. And some of you actually commented with some suggestions. So I'm gonna try one of those suggestions today. Oven cleaner. Now I've used it before on engine bays. It does a great job, but you have to be careful with it because it cannot be used on aluminium. More so, you can use it, but you have to be quick about it. You can't leave it to soak on aluminium. You can use it to clean something quickly, but you have to rinse it off in sort of less than five minutes. If you leave it on for longer, it does something to aluminium. It is like a reaction and it will just ruin the aluminium. Like it will ruin the look of it and it will never look right again. So yeah, you've really got to be careful with it, but it does work. So I'm going to try it today. Now, the way I see it with this wheel, there isn't really much to lose because even if the oven cleaner does destroy it, it's already looking pretty destroyed anyway. This, I've honestly cleaned it so many times. I mean, when I first got the wheel, it was all like this, this brown that you can see on it. It was just basically the whole wheel. There wasn't really any silver to see. So it's a lot better, but I can't get it much better than this. So I'm going to use the oven cleaner. We'll just do a, we'll spray it on and rinse it off straight away and just see if it makes any difference. All right, let's see. There goes nothing. I'm just going to try a small area first. It's, it's not working miracles, is it? But I think it's definitely helping. Possibly I didn't leave it on there for long enough, but... Now that's more like it, isn't it? That's way nicer. So there we go, fresh rubber does feel good I have to say and looks good as well I just went with the Minerva brand they're not the best they are budget they're not the cheapest nastiest stuff you can get but they're okay for a budget tire they're actually what was on this wheel these wheels before never had any issue with them so I just thought I'd just stick with what I know obviously it would be nice to have continentals or something like that but you know it would be nice to have the money for those kind of tires as well so these should do fine. Nice summer tyre, so they should actually grip better than the all seasons. Um, and yeah, we're not planning to use it in the winter, so should be off the road in the ice anyway. But yeah, and slightly thinner, which I think looks better actually, because although she did look good with chunky tyres on, I think these slightly thinner, narrower tyres, they actually make the wheels stand out a little bit more as well, which is quite nice, isn't it? So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll chuck them on the car and we'll see how they look. So there we go. What do you think? I almost regret my decision to go with these tires. I kind of want the old ones back. I thought it would just exaggerate the wheels if it was on the slightly narrower tires. And I knew they'd be slightly shorter as well, not quite as tall. Because with the less width comes less height as well. Well, not doesn't have to be, but in this case it did because we just went one size down. Um, and that was the standard size for the tires for this car. Uh, they look a little bit small compared to the ones before. I think once I get used to it and the eyes adjust, I think they'll look absolutely fine. Just go one tyre size down and then all of a sudden they look like shopping trolley wheels and you can't get over it. But after a couple of days and a couple of drives, you don't notice it and then it just looks absolutely fine as it is. So maybe a Simmons Sports exhaust when this exhaust has finally fallen off or about to fall off because um, it is looking a bit rusty. Maybe at some point a different camshaft, but you know, I'm not going to go too wild. It'll just be bits and pieces. Tasteful period modifications, a bit like the gauges that we've got in the dash. You know, nice optional extra stuff. You know, nothing, nothing too blingy, nothing too 
too modified. Um, yeah, oh, she's a really nice car as she is, you know, real nice standard original car. So definitely like to keep it that way. Yeah, anyway, now it's time to see if we can get that pass ticket. So here we go then, it's inspection day for Lily, the Volvo 240, a day that I've been dreading. This is a failure, this crack here. It's failed on the rear discs. There's no cracks, there's nothing. I mean, these are from 2019, so they're only four years old. They're in great shape. And this, the icing on the cake, it's failed. That rust. Tires, brakes, lights, door. Timing tweak for the emissions, for the, for the ignition timing. Can we get it through? Will we get the sticker finally? Let's go and find out. We got it. 62 euros 50 cents for that retest, just for them to check those five items, was it four or five things, whatever it was. Obviously it was all just visual inspection. Oh, and the emissions test. Um, yeah, so 62.50 to, uh, to, to, to check those things. So we've got a total of 100, I think it's 168 something plus 62.50. That is the total price to get this car, to, to have it tested basically, and then obviously rechecked. Um, yeah, I, I, I know it's pointless to compare to other countries and, and that sort of stuff, it doesn't matter, does it? Um, but quite a few of you did say like, I can't believe it's so expensive over there. But not only that, norm, like where I'm from, for example, you'll do your MOT, you'll pay for it and the retest is free. They won't charge you again. And if they do, I mean, it's it's a small amount, but well, I, I suppose in terms of percentage, 62 euros, no, that's still a big part of 168. So it's like a, what, a third of it or something. I, I don't know, just under a third. I don't know, a lot, a lot just for them to just to check the things that they've failed. So it's an easy way to get more money, isn't it? If you if you do fail cars, maybe that's why they fail them as well. But yeah, there we go, it's done. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, of course we've got through the tooth, but we've still got a lot more work to do. So I'll see you for that.